Hey guys, and welcome to another candle video. Today, we are taking the beeswax that we rendered down in another video from our really dirty honeycombs. We rendered it down into this beautiful golden yellow piece of wax. And I will tell you something, something that I just recently learned because I, I was not aware of this before. Usually when you have uh, beeswax that you take straight from the honeycomb, you render it down and it has, it has a very faint honey scent, I would say. Some beeswax doesn't even really smell like much at all. But this wax, I pull it out of the bag and it smells like honey, butter, like the most amazing, intense honey smell is coming from this wax. If you opened up a jar of honey and warmed it in a pot, that is what this smells like right now. And, and I will tell you what I think has occurred. It took me almost a year to render this wax. It was sitting inside of Ziplocs the old honeycombs were just sitting there aging for a year. So my thought is the older the honeycomb, the more it ages, the higher intensity smell it has. And since this has been aged for over a year, the smell is absolutely amazing. And I think that's very special about this particular wax. It's aged like, like a cheese. The age on this honey wax is making the fragrance absolutely high intensity and truly, truly amazing. I wish smell the vision was real because this stuff smells so soothing, so sweet. So what I have here are the little jars. Um, these are going to be the honey candles. I have a smaller jar right here of Tasmanian leatherwood honey. And as you can see, there's still remnants of honey on the side. I have not washed this and I'm not going to wash it. I'm actually going to wick this container as is, let the remnants of honey seep into the wax when I pour the wax in. And then as it burns, it's actually going to burn with the scent of the leatherwood honey combined with the scent of the honeycomb wax. And um, I have a creamy vanilla wax melting in the pot right here. This is going to be the pour over. So this smells like creamy oatmeal, um, milk and honey. It's, it's just a really soothing grandma's kitchen kind of scent. So this is going to complement the beeswax. It's going to be an oatmeal, milk and honey, really warm, really soothing scent. First step is I'm gonna take half of the wax and chunk it into very small pieces. This is going to be, these are going to be the small pieces that I actually put inside of the containers. And then I'm gonna do a oatmeal, milk and honey, cream pour over for the top. Wow, this is really tough to cut through. That's even harder than paraffin wax, it's crazy. a very sturdy wax, I'll tell you that. So, since I'm having so much trouble cutting through this wax, look at that. <laughs> I think the best option is to not do a pour over wax in these honey candles. I think I'm just I'm just gonna melt the wax down and do the candles a little bit differently this time than I usually do. So a new plan has taken shape. New candle plan is 
I am going to use the wax that's already melted down. This is soy wax and it is the um, creamy milk and honey wax. So I'm going to go ahead and let the beeswax melt into the soy wax and I am going to start wicking my candles. So these candle jars came with the cutest little um, bee honeycomb spoons. <laughs> Instead of actually putting these in the candle, I'm going to just have these as a, a little free gift for anyone who buys the honey candle. You'll get a little honey spoon and you can put it in your own jar. I think that's the best thing to do because then it doesn't get wax all over it and you can actually use it for your own honey. So I'm going to put these aside and for these they have to have a special wick because beeswax burns at a higher temperature than uh, regular wax so they need a cotton wick and since I don't have any organic cotton wicks the closest thing that I do have guess what I found <laughs> I didn't even know I had these these are Eric X Light candle wicks, and these are actually, boom! These are actually beeswax organic candle wicks. <laughs> I was I was um, looking for I was looking through my candle wicks, and these were like, boom! Hey Holly, you forgot you had these. So, perfect, that's a sign from God, it was just meant to be. So, ordered these on Amazon as well. So I am going to use my organic beeswax wicks instead of the cotton ones. And I am so happy that that happened. Now that the wax is completely liquefied, that took about 15 minutes. We are gonna add our oatmeal, milk and honey oil. Oh, it smells lovely. So soothing, so special. <gasps> smells like sugar up in here. Oh, that is just awesome. You just smell like buttery, honey, and vanilla. The nice sense of creamy oats and... Oh, it's so inviting. This is gonna be magical. I'm going to pour some of this wax into these molds so we'll have a cute little decoration on the top. So for one of these candles, I am going to use my honey dip strawberry candle. I'm going to chunk this one up and I am going to make a 
like a strawberry shortcake honey candle. I have a friend right now who is battling breast cancer. So I really wanted to make her a really nice pink candle, but one that has, you know, has some meaning behind it, but also is a soothing candle. I really wanted it to be really earthy and special, so I figure the pink strawberry candle with the honey pour over wax will be perfect for her. <clears throat> Why not make this one a honey drizzled strawberry candle too? And there you have it. Beautiful golden honeycomb wax rendered at our own homestead and turned in to the sweetest candles. I was able to make five in all, two large ones, a jar like this, a mason jar, one Tasmanian honey jar and this little mini one which I think I'm just gonna keep and burn for myself so these will be on sale on the Chris and Holly shop I still have to clean them up they have quite a bit of beeswax on them and the beeswax is actually a little more difficult to clean up than uh, the soy wax it's just one smooth, buttery, honey smelling wax. It smells divine in here. And I was able to make 14 candle melts. So if you're interested in purchasing any of the beeswax candles you see here, please check out the Chris and Holly shop on Facebook. And of course you will be receiving a free <laughs> honeybee spoon with the purchase of the honeycomb candles, these two. <laughs>